that Jenny again. Can I not get it? Devil Wisp. Don't dodge. <laughs> it was a fireball and it just went poof. They're still playing. Storm gear. Uh, resist water, fire, and wind. From 34 to 42. From 36 to 42. 38. 26 to 42. Guess we're giving it to him. Can I actually go sell things? Offer a fragment of the volcano's power to reach the interior. Unfortunate. I thought we would admit to Veda almost immediately. I'm gonna go back and sell. Like, I have bags full of crap and I need to get rid of. They really do become like zombies, though. That's actually kind of funny. Well, at least the shopkeepers aren't like zombies, right? Silver lining. I'm actually curious, will the song actually stop? song ends while I'm in here. Wouldn't that be awkward? that music is never going to stop. Um, we can go ahead and buy Water of Life now since we have the extra money. This is in case his uh, synergy gets sealed, right? amount of money. You know, those items did not cost as much as I thought they would. There's still Jenny that I haven't been able to gain access to yet. Also, I'm kind of curious, when am I able to get access to, uh, well, this for certain, I want access to that, but I'm curious as to when I'm able to gain access to, uh, coming up on a point of no turn. Okay. So about inside of the, the ruins or is it after the ruins? How do I 
get up here. I just rummaged through some old person's um, closet and stole their clothing. So we'll save before we go into ruins. Seriously though, there's gotta be a way to get over here, right? Dang. I want that Jenny. need to be able to get inside their roof I need to get inside that building somehow but this is the only play direct place directly below it that I that I know of but I can't move this cast water uh, to douse the flames. Alright, it looks like the only thing I can do now is go into the mines, or the ruins. Alright, so let's double save. Also, there's a Jenny here, too. So we'll save here. I have 10, 11, 7, and 9. Those Mars ones are hard to come by. All right, let's save again down here. The hard part for your uh, mini project seems to be done. Nice. So now all that's left is the easy part, right? Oh, if I go this way, I get the Jenny. Well, hopefully. Never mind. I stand corrected. So hopefully there will be a way to get that other Jenny that was sitting inside that house. At some point. It reads the form responses. Uh, assigns permission numbers and updates the worksheets. I just need to send the emails. Then you can have a break. We 
We've learned wild growth as well. Do I need to be careful about how many of these shards I'm using? Because I'm down to my last one already. Oh, ain't going that way no more. You came as promised. Thank you. Gotcha. Don't you mean your royal highness, Vector? Doesn't this game cube does it, Tyrell? Uh, everything escapes this fool. That's right. So why the big ticket? Yeah, you only knew because somebody told you, you jerk. Don't act like you're some kind of smarty pants. You didn't know nothing about anything. You must have raised your voice, so they'll find us. Who? The Tuaparong commanders, uh, the Tuaparong commanders um, in here with us. This enigmatic nation has great scientific and military prowess. They fly in a giant airship call, uh, calling themselves the Zenith Tribe. They are obviously interested in all things related to alchemy, including ancient devices and synergy vortexes. I believe you have already encountered Blados and um, Callus. They're uh, they're from Top Rang. Why are they here in uh, Blinis, uh, Belinsk? I've heard that Top Rang. Um, I heard of Top Rang, but I don't know much about it. it is, it's a country ruled over by someone they call the High Emperor. Top Rang seems to be focused entirely on military power and conquest rather than helping its citizens. It saddens me deeply to imagine such a place. Let's try to how. One more thing. Please understand that I never wanted to mislead you. But that poor girl, Ho um, Hoju, was in prison after losing her parents. I thought if I helped her brother. Ah, so that's the trap that Blados used on you. What? Blados used you. No, that can't be. That would mean my brother. Volchek would have um, would have to have been part of Blados' scheme. Why would he? So all you um you all were and hold you was. Magmore, what's that? Ah, a power source for the ruins. A Ryoku, uh, stole it. Why would he do something so dangerous? Amazing. Did you get all that from Matthew's mind? Shveta, that was astounding. I knew you had an extrasensory ability, but still, most impressive. Really, I'm glad you appreciate it, but I wish it was gone. Life would be much better, uh, would be better without it. My father felt the same way, Shveta. I know living with telepathy, uh, telepathy can be hard, but I... <clears throat> Sorry to butt in our, on your special time, but we do kind of have a job to do here. Matthew, I'm sorry for getting um, you all involved without telling you the whole story. Can you forgive me? I'll take your smile as forgiveness. Thank you for your understanding. So that's all settled? Huh? Why are you looking at me? I'm just making sure that we've all forgiven Shvetan now. Oh, that? Yeah, we're good. Wonderful. Also, if you're willing to come with us, Vector, I'm sure you'll be very help um, useful. Certainly. An adept with an extraordinary abilities and who knows her way around Belinsk sounds ideal. Thank you for your vote of confidence, but I don't exact, um, actually know much about the ruins. This area is just one part of the ruins complex, and I've only been here a few times. But we should be fine. I walked south to get here, so if we head north, we should get to the castle. Finally, some information we can actually use. 
All right, let's head to the castle. Shveta rejoined the party. Actually, I forget her gin set it's supposed to be, though. Why are all of her Jennies set, though? Okay, so, uh, let me... Give me a second, because I need to check on Shveta real quick. I need to check on her uh, class guide real quick. I think I was making her a brawler or something like that. Scrapper. Yeah, she's going to be a scrapper to grappler to brawler to bruiser to gladiator. She needs mostly... Uh, Venus Jenny. Yeah, she needs mostly Venus Jenny. She could also be a wizard. That would require... Oh, she could be a white mage, too? Anywho, uh, to be a sage... Or, slash, wizard, she would need all mercury and two jupes. Um, but if I want her to be a scrapper, she needs all Venus and two jupes. Either way, she needs two jupes. But only the two. Okay, so let's see. All Venus and two jupes. Well, first things first is let's swap her. Gonna put Tyrell at the end, right? Not because I hate him, but because we don't want him. Oh man, I, I, I feel so rude, you know? Alright, so I guess I'm taking everything that... We'll take Furrow, definitely. I'm gonna keep Haze and... We'll keep Haze and uh, Waft. Waft, I said Waft. Mixed feelings about doing this, though. Oh, he becomes a... He loses his healing abilities. That's fine. Alright, so for now, all she needs is... So she just needs a... more uh, Venus. She's her Venus. She's her fire, your desire. Okay, so this is good. This is good. Uh, this is fine for now. Right. Need more Mars, too. We're gonna go to the right. Can't do anything there yet, so I guess we gotta get to the lower level first. Strange. What's wrong, Shveta? This beastman is part of the Shamar um, Shamaro clan, royal family of Morgal. She is King Voltic's younger sister. Her unique powers let her read minds and render sense visible. In battle, she can transform into a ferocious beast. The passage is gone. 
gone, where'd it go? I have no idea. What could it, uh, what could be happening? There's only one path that couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We should climb these stairs, should we not? And from there we can reach the castle. Yes, that's right. We should be able to get go right to the castle from here. There. I am confused. But with the gate, uh, with the path gone, we apparently can't get any further north. And so we can't get into uh, Balint's castle. Wait, did you all hear a buzzing sound? And the smell of, a hot, um, of hot oil? I think a machine is starting up. How did you open the door just before we met again? Easy, we used the magma shard. And we have seen platforms and such change in response to the shards. What's going on? No. Something in these runes has activated. Because of a magma shard. Surely not. A magma shard would have wouldn't have enough power, would it? I don't know, but it looks like we brought our promise to Laurel has broken. It must have been Ryoku. He had a magma orb. How could he do this? We cannot find him from here. Let us proceed into the depths of the ruins. Let's get going. If we take any longer, Eolia will be souped by the time we get to him. Mmm, Eoli um, soup. Sounds like the perfect lunch, right, chat? So we gotta go back, but that road has been blocked, so we can't go left or right. Can't go down now, though. Well, this is definitely new. Yep, this would be the Alchemy Forge. Uh, what are we looking at? Or Alchemy Dynamo. It would appear to be a gate. A gate into the deepest part of the ruins, or it would appear. We've come this far, I guess we should just keep going. Don't do it! If, is someone pushing us a certain way? To operating, maybe? I don't know, but it doesn't feel like cooperating to me. Who then? Shveta, what do you know about this gate? Nothing. I thought this was a dead end. But I agree with Karis. We have no choice but to press on. And by doing so, we literally do exactly what they want. But I must admit, the ruins are amazing. I never dreamed anything like this was under brilliance. We couldn't agree more. I'm glad you finally decided to show yourselves. What do you mean? Ryoku and Hyozan have been following us through these passages for some time. That, that's it, Ryoku, you treacherous. Please allow us to apologize for our recent actions. Apologize? I am afraid the stakes are too high for a simple apology to suffice. Everyone, please. We don't have time for infighting. infighting. Now let's... I think we really have been led here. It's the only explanation that makes sense. Shreta's right. Something in the air says... Oh, something is off. There's no doubt. You see, Hyozan and I weren't following you. Not intentionally, anyway. Considering how we parted ways before, it would have been tricky to track you down at all. The young one is right. We entered these ruins entirely on our own. The path isn't particularly complicated, but suddenly our way back disappeared. Since we couldn't go back, we forged on. Eventually, we found you. Our story is similar. I suppose it's possible the same thing happened to you. I wouldn't lie at a time like this. Hold you's life hangs in by, um, by a thread. Well, without an obvious exit, all we can do is press on. Every minute we stand here, Eolio. One more thing. Who are these Tua, um, Tua Parang, um you were talking about? They are the mount, they're the fiends who set the mountain rock on us. But you don't think it's them leading us around in here? Exactly. Well, actually, I'm going to try that. That's what Karis and Sveta believe. I don't know who else we could be, though. I know, this, I know that makes some sense, but it doesn't quite feel like the answer. Ryoku has the Magma Orb. The Tuaparang could just take it and start the machine. But if that were the only goal, why not just do it? What else are they up to? Hmm... Agreed. If the only goal is starting the machine, they could do it faster themselves. There must be some explanation. So what do we do? Press on? Go back? I guess we can't actually go back, can we? 
I can only guess, but I suspect we have only to travel down this path to find our answers. Shvetla, what's wrong? Tonight is the full moon. The people of Vilens will celebrate with a festival. It is an important day for the for beastmen, but also for these ruins. You see, the festival is not simply for the beastmen. It is it is the time we pray for the revival of the ancient civilization. And you think Volchek and the Tuaporang want to revive um want to use us to bring that revival about? If that's so, heading down the path here is um, playing right into their scummy hands. True, but our return path is gone, and we cannot sit idle. Every second brings the Oleo closer to the end. Well, we can try to force our way backward, or we can forge ahead. I don't know much w um, which is worse. Whatever we do, we can't lose sight of the fact that we're here to save the Oleo and Hoju. I guess this is why you're the leader, Matthew. Lead on. Oh, that's right. Make me do all the hard, the, the hard decision making. I didn't think that was gonna work. I stand corrected. So we can teleport out. I thought we were at a point where they wouldn't let you move. I wish it would stop leaving the party though. It's kind of annoying. You're leaving? Uh, I'm gonna stay here and wait. You go ahead. Stay in the party! Wait! But can I go forward anymore? So, if I teleport out, the walls come back down, but as soon as I walk back through them, they trap me. Arrange sun, moon, and matter into a pleasing hole to reveal the path forward. I don't know. I feel like doing this would be a, uh, a bad thing. I guess I'm madder. Oh, so they had already completed this project. In all things, there is balance. Strike one to affect the other. Interesting. So by strike, they mean crush. We're gonna get the item first. And it was a wasteful item. That's not crush. It's arid heat. Dang it all. Jenny. Probably can't get it right now, right?
This is bound to make it mad, though. So then... If it wants to be like that... Ha ha! You sir got trapped. Something popped up and I need to check something. Okay. Alright. We're all good. False alarm. Quadruple attack! That's what that was. This deity is found deep in the Bl uh, Blinsk ruins. The vacuum within its chasm drains everything in. Draws everything in. I don't know why I said drain. Is she not already a white mage? When did she become a savant? Guess it doesn't matter. She gains revive. Cure poison, restore dull ward. Did I miss something? Was she wasn't she always a white mage? Okay, so if I want to make her a pure mage, I need one more Venus Jenny for her. Shouldn't be too hard to get, right? Oh. It's like a shortcut of sorts. I still need to figure out how to get that Mercury Genie that's down here. Dang, I didn't realize Matthew and Tyrell's luck is so bad. Sally! What's up, buddy? Thank you. You officially have internet again? Let's go! <laughs> Sally in here with the internet. Glad to see that you finally got your internet back. Did they t did it ever say what was wrong? It was here for like an hour and a half. So what what ended up being the issue? If you don't mind let telling me that is. Also, last night I fit or yet yeah, yeah, last night I finished a rack ton of quests. Or is it Yesterday during the day, I did Morning's End Part 1. I did uh, Roving Elves. Oh, that's it. Actually, that's just all it was. It was just two quests. I still got to get my defense to 65 um, to do uh, King's Ransom. So, Long story short, issues with voltage because of a power surge, yet my outputs 
should all be properly grounded, so we're, um, we're confused about that. Also, the line supposedly got damaged too, so if it was a double whammy of issues. Interesting. Yeah, most outlets are generally uh, grounded for that. So that's weird. So I guess that's like a shortcut too? I am quite the confu- Oh, I see what I have to do. They want me to go back to the beginning. And reset it. Nope, I want to go up. Yeah, I gotta hit these again, don't I? But yeah, I'm glad things were able to work out for you and that you were able to get your internet back back up. And hopefully they didn't charge you for that, right? Seems important. Another gate. I wonder how many there are. Hey, look over there. What? Oh my. What happened here? Look at all this. It's breathtaking. <laughs> it looks like a war happened in this room. But we fought it. Uh, but who fought it? It looks like the soldiers were fighting the statues. Why not? We've already seen a divine stone bird. Statues coming to life seem positively tame. Matthew, mm, take a look at the remains of that statue. It's embedded in the stone wall. Who could have done that? I suppose it would have to be an um, it would have to be, would have to be an adept, wouldn't it? It would take a tremendously powerful adept to bury a statue in the wall like that. Do you think this mysterious adept went through the gate after the battle? Well, anybody strong enough to do that, um, do all this would have to, um, have to have won the fight, so probably. Unless something other than raw power is necessary to pass through the gate. Regardless, it would seem that the Tuwaparain have um, again anticipated our path through the ruins. Yeah, I guess so. But who are these Twaparain exactly? You know them as Blados and Kallus. The Twaparain commander is a master swordsman constantly looking for a fight. He works closely with Kallus and manipulating Matthew's group to accomplish their sinister goals. The Kallus is the Twaparain agent, uses her enchanting wiles to bewitch King Wu and to manipulate Kalcho from behind the throne. She is partnered with Blados, subtly pushing Matthew and his friends to accomplish their goals. It's ruled over by someone called the High Emperor, who pursues military power above all else. If that's so, I imagine this High Emperor leads an army personally. I would know, military matters are not something I ever studied. It seems absurd to even to call such a place a country, it seems like one massive army. So do you know why these two operate are trying to bring you all to Belinsk? I wish I knew. If we, were, um, if we understood their goals, we might start getting some real answers. But we don't. Well, we know nothing. What we do know is that they are um, a more ruthless and partner with my brother. This one here was he a Tuwaparain? Yeah, I think we've seen that uniform. You're right. That's definitely a Tuwaparain sol soldier. That would suggest that Tuwaparain are after something in these ruins. They're after the stupid machine, you dum dums. Right, whatever they're up to, they must need us for it. So we got the adventures. Let's get them. You already know that the alchemy dynamo is down here. You know what they're for after. I don't understand why they have not put that together yet. They know that their alchemy dynamo is here, but they don't know why people are after it. But if you put that together with the forge and the well, you have to know that it's something with immense power. Use the conjured hand to smash the Dark King with the light um, soldier and open the way. Oh, 
I gotta cast move. Oh, this is irritating. Okay, so he's got to be facing one of them before he gets hit, right? So I'll destroy this one. So we go over, we go up, we go over again. To the left now. Alright, we're gonna pull him again to the, the left. Glad it doesn't hurt me. Alright, now we're going up. Now we go to the left and he kills the king. Game! Ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba. You know something that I've been thinking about lately? I've been really curious as to why they have not announced any kind of DLC to Mario uh, Party Superstars, right? I've kind of.